Creating an image with a transparent background is easy with Affinity Photo. I'll demonstrate three ways, one from scratch and two using existing images. I'll also show how to export the image so that the background will be transparent when you use it in Affinity or another application. Let's get to it. In this tutorial, I'll be using Affinity Photo version 2.0.3. The first method is the simplest. Press Command N or Control N in Windows to create a new document. You can also select New from the File menu. Everything here is to my liking, so I'll click Create. From the Document menu, select Transparent Background. The white background has been replaced by a checkered pattern, which is what we want. I'll place an object on it for demonstration purposes. To use this image with the transparent background, we have to export it in a format that supports transparency. From the File menu, select Export. The current selection is JPEG. Note the white background in the preview on the left. Let's change it to PNG. This format supports transparency. Note the background is now checkered in the preview. Let's click Export. Give the file a name and save it. Now let's bring the new file into another document to check its transparency. I'll drop it into this photo here. And you can see that there's no background. We only have the triangle. Now I'll show you a slight variation of the first method. Press Command N or Control N in Windows. Click Color. And place a check mark in Transparent Background. Click Create. As you can see, we have the checkered pattern indicating transparency. Next time you create a new document, however, Transparent Background will be selected. So be aware of that. The second method will create a transparent background using a simple image that already has a background. Here I have a light blue triangle over a darker blue background. To make the background transparent, first select the pixel layer that represents it and reduce its opacity to zero. The background is now white but not transparent. To make it transparent, select Transparent Background from the Document menu. And there's the checkered pattern we're looking for. We can now export the file as before. From the File menu, select Export. Make sure PNG is selected. Click Create. Let's give it a name and click Save. Again, let's bring the exported file into our photograph to check its transparency. And there it is. The last method will use an existing image contained in a single pixel layer. Here are two triangles over a darker background. I'll select the triangles using the Flood Selection tool. Since the triangles are of differing colors, make sure Add Mode is selected. Select the triangles by clicking in both of them. From the Edit menu, select Copy. Clear the selection by pressing Command D or Control D in Windows. Using the Erase Brush tool, erase the image. From the Document menu, select Transparent Background. And there is the checkered pattern indicating transparency. From the Edit menu, select Paste to bring back the two triangles. To export the file, select Export from the File menu and make sure PNG is selected here at the top. So there you have three techniques for creating a transparent background in Affinity Photo. I hope one or a combination of these work for you. Thank you for watching.